It doesn't matter how high my heel is. <laughs> I'm still gonna be five foot one and a half. This is literally going to shock some of you. It may actually blow your mind, okay? There is something that I do that I don't do as a petite that I feel like literally every person that I tell, they're like, what? Okay, so the thing that I don't do, I don't. Well, hello and welcome back to the House of Valentina fashion channel. I am so excited that you guys are here today. I've got my coffee in this beautiful little cup. I know it comes with a little top and I know, it's so cute. But we are not gonna be talking about coffee today. We are gonna be talking about petite rules, petite girl style rules that I break. Because I feel like I need to get a few things off my chest. And so even if you are tall and you've actually clicked on this video, I am telling you right now, I think you're gonna really enjoy it because we're gonna talk about things like the fact that everyone is trying to make you look like something that you are not. Mm, yes, okay? So we're gonna talk about how we're trying to make ourselves look like something that we're not, and I think everyone can identify with that. I'm kind of on a little bit of a rant at the moment because I'm just really tired of being told how to dress to look different than how I actually am. And today, I'm just gonna share with you the things that I do that I'm not supposed to do, and I do them anyways. So if that sounds like fun to you <laughs> and you are a fellow fashion rebel, make sure you hit subscribe and give the video a thumbs up because we're just gonna have a minute together while we just talk about this stuff because I feel like I just need to get it off my chest. Because the truth is, is that people say things to me online all the time about how I look too short or I look fatter in this or whatever it is. And I'm like, first of all, that's rude. And second of all, let's chat about why that's even important. So let's jump into today's video because clearly I'm on a rant. <laughs> okay, first of all, let's just start with the most important one. The one thing I never do as a petite girl, I'm five foot one. Okay, that, let's say that first, okay? I'm five foot one and a half. And people have teased me about the fact that I say a half for so long, I stopped saying it. But the truth is, is that when you are petite, you always feel like, I don't know, a little bit on the short side. Like you didn't quite grow all the way. And people tease me all the time about how, I mean, I'm, I'm small, I'm cute, they pat me on the head, they put their arms on top of my head. Uh, you know, that stuff in good fun doesn't bother me at all. But I see so many videos out on the internet and comments that I get online about how I shouldn't wear something because I don't look as tall in it. And I'm like, I'm five foot one. They don't sell clothing that's gonna make me look like I'm five foot head, okay? There's no clothing that's going to make me look that much taller. And I don't, I don't worry about it because I think what we really need to be doing is accepting who we are and celebrating it because I don't want to spend my entire life wishing I was taller. That's not really, you know, I, I've actually spent portions of my life doing that. And the truth of the matter is, is that it doesn't matter for all the wishing in the world. It doesn't matter how high my heel is. <laughs> I'm still gonna be five foot one and a half. I mean, honestly, I just am who I am. And I just really am bothered by this messaging because I'm like, everyone asks, asks me for petite girl videos and I, I want to talk about those things on this channel, but I don't want to alienate taller people. And I also don't want to alienate petite girls who, I don't want to, I don't want to make people feel bad. Because you know what, when people say things like that to me and they're, they're, they're saying them to be mean, they tell me that I look fat or I look short or something's unflattering on me, it hurts my feelings. I just can't build a wall big enough to make it to where those things don't hurt. And, and I hate that about myself sometimes actually, because I wish that I'd just be like, that's rude, they shouldn't have said it, and it doesn't, that doesn't matter. But sometimes that stuff really does eat at you. So I just need to, the, before we start having any kind of petite girl stuff on this channel, I just need to say first and foremost, I don't really care whether I look taller and stuff. I do think that some things can make you look taller, but that's not the most important thing to me. 
Sometimes I'm like, ooh, yeah, these pants. Woo, woo, girl, you look so tall. <laughs> Your legs look so long. <laughs> and then other times I just wear things because I like them. And that's just the truth, is that I don't spend my days worrying about trying to look taller because that's kind of exhausting because I can still go on the playground. You know, it, it, there's some good things about being petite, like going on the playground with my kids. I can still fit in kids' shoes. <laughs> I can shop in the children's department. Okay, there's like, there's things. I, I can sit on the couch and pull my legs up and sit crisscross. And I don't know, like when we're traveling and I'm in, you know, uh, at a regular seat on an airplane, I'm not bothered by the distance between myself and the seat. You know, there are some advantages to being petite and I don't want to spend my entire life trying to be something that I'm not. So I've gotten that somewhat off my chest. <laughs> this whole video is kind of a rant about this thing, but let's talk about some of the other things that I don't do that apparently I'm supposed to and I don't think that we have to obey these rules. The other thing that I do, the petite rules, you know, shouldn't do is I wear flats. I wear, I, I, I love wearing a heel and that's just the truth. I don't wear a heel to look taller. I wear a heel because I like the way I feel in it. I danced for years and for me, my foot is most comfortable in a heel. I actually feel most uncomfortable in a flat. So why, I, I don't wear heels to look taller. I don't wear heels because I'm petite. I wear them because I want to. And so I feel like if you're tall, if you're average, if you're super petite or whatever you are, you should wear the shoe that makes you feel most comfortable. So I wear flat shoes. I wear them a lot when I'm at the beach or a sneaker, right? I wear sneakers. We just did a whole sneaker video. I wear sneakers. I wear shoes that are not a heel because they're not the most flattering thing on a petite girl if you're trying to look taller. But I don't, I'm not worried about that. I, I don't care. It's not that important to me. There are ways to make your body, to me, like you can play with your proportions, you can show a little bit of skin. I feel like I wanna look in my clothes, I just wanna look my best. And for me, that's what I'm aiming for rather than trying to look taller. So I wear flat shoes, I think they're cute on anyone of any size, and so I'm not going to avoid them just because I'm petite. Oh, this is a big one. Oh, this is the one that I get the most comments about and I am like, don't care, mon frere. <laughs> Doing it anyways, okay? People comment all the time that petite girls shouldn't wear oversized clothing and I'm usually getting comments because I'm wearing something oversized and I'm like, look, I don't care. I don't care that I don't look tall or super skinny, or you can't see all of my figure in something. I don't care. I, I dress the way that I want to. Oversized clothing has been really in and I like the look and that's why I'm wearing it. Do I go super oversized? No, I mean, let's be honest. This is an oversized blazer, right? It's not super fitted. You're not seeing every inch of my body, right? But it's not like, massively oversized. I do tend to not wear those things because I just feel like it's it's actually uncomfortable to me to wear clothing that's just that big. And that's why I don't wear it. Not because I'm worried that people will think that I look short. I just don't think it's a good reason to avoid something. I think that we should wear what we want. And I wear oversized clothing sometimes. Sometimes I wear an oversized, a lot of times I wear an oversized blazer because I just love the look and I'm really comfortable in it. It's really to me about having room to move my arms, right? To be able to move up and down. And to me, that's what is most important to me. So I wear oversized, uh, I wear oversized blazers. I wear my shirts a little bit more oversized. I wear oversized pants with wide legs. I'm supposed to avoid that too. Got lots of comments about how they don't look good on me, but you know what? I'm gonna wear them because I enjoy them. I enjoy them and I'm not worried about the fact that I'm five foot one, why don't, those pants, you could give me another pant and I'm still gonna look like I'm short. Because <laughs> I just am. So I'm just gonna wear what I want, I'm gonna wear what feels good, I'm gonna live my life. And uh, for me, I think that an oversized trouser, an oversized blazer, or some oversized clothes are really just really comfortable and so that's what I'm going to wear. I wear long dresses. And you know what? I don't think that they're always that flattering on me if I'm trying to look tall. 
sometimes long dresses can make you look a lot shorter. And especially right now when maxi dresses are so in, I wear them all the time. I see other petite girls wearing long dresses all the time and I think that the main thing is that they're not dragging the floor because you don't want to ruin your dress, right? And if you're a petite girl, you know what it's like, something arrives and you're like, well, if I was five foot 10, this wouldn't be dragging the floor or I'm gonna have to wear a six inch heel <laughs> in order for this thing not to be dragging. Okay, so this is why I use a tailor for so much of my clothing. I did not use a tailor for years and I think that was a bit of a mistake because I just sent a lot back that was easy to fix by just simply going to the tailor. So for me, I wear long dresses. I think they're beautiful on any size. Another thing that I do is I wear crew neck t-shirts. Okay, I wear crew neck t-shirts all the time. For years, I used to wear V-neck because people said that makes you look taller. I'm not opposed to a V-neck shirt. I have some I love. Oh, my, my favorite, one of my favorite things, besides like a t-shirt like this, a crew neck, is I love to wear a button down shirt and have it open and that gives you that V-neck feel. I love wearing that. I wear that, like if I'm not wearing a t-shirt, I'm probably in that. Like t-shirt tank tops and blouses are pretty much my existence. <laughs> I just love them. I'm really comfortable in them. But I'm not going to avoid a crew neck shirt just because someone said I don't look tall in it. I just think that's silly. I, I just, I think it's unfair. One of the things that I, I, I do is that I tend to show a lot of skin. For me, that, this is something that helps me to feel like the outfit just is really interesting. But I'm, and, and I've heard people saying that's what, like that's a trick to make yourself look taller. I've never even thought about that. I literally do not spend my time in any day trying to look taller because I just don't think that it, it's that important. But what does matter to me is having like a cool little detail on the sleeve. Like even if I was five foot 10, I think that this, would, this trick would look great. Like it doesn't really matter to me what size you are. So I, I think that we just have to get over that. We have to not worry about, well, does this make me look shorter? So therefore I should only buy V-necks, but I don't want to wear a V-neck. V-neck shirts, I stopped wearing V-neck t-shirts because I hated the fact that every time I bent over, they would just flap open. And I had, you know, having people look down your shirt, like I had to worry about it all the time. And especially when I had little kids, you know, you're bending over to pick them up all the time. You're bending over to pick up their toys. You're out and about at the playground and stuff. I got tired of worrying about having my shirt open. So I, that's why I stopped wearing V-necks. It had absolutely nothing to do with the fact that it didn't make me, it, you know, they made me look shorter or taller. None of that has ever factored into it. And I think that's where your confidence really comes from. When I, I say this all the time, and I really mean it, your confidence comes from within. You can't buy it off a rack. You can't, they don't sell it at a store. Your confidence is something that you have to bring to every outfit. I see people wearing things that really just shouldn't flatter them at all, and they just rock it. And the reason why is because they're confident. You need your confidence in place before you ever put any clothing on. And I personally always say that you dress right from the inside out, which means the next layer is some gorgeous lingerie. Like today, I wish I could show you, maybe I'll pop up a picture for you. I am wearing the prettiest bra and panty set. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I feel so good in this. I just feel it's, just, it's a beautiful lace piece and I oh, just I feel so good in it. And I think those little layers, those things that we do for ourselves where we celebrate ourselves and we celebrate, hey, I've got a little extra mommy tummy. Well, you know what? There's three kids running around this planet that are here because of me and I'm really proud that I brought them into this world. And so I'm not gonna stress out about that all the time. I just am who I am. Right? And so yes, we can sometimes adapt things and I, some things feel more comfortable on our skin than other things. That's what we're looking for. So think about dressing from the inside out. Think about how you feel, your confidence that you're bringing to an outfit. You're just gonna strut it. You're just gonna do you. And then make sure you have some great underwear on <laughs> and then you can start putting on the extra layers for when you go out. Oh my gosh. This is literally going to shock some of you it may actually blow your mind, okay? There is something that I do that I don't do 
as a petite that I feel like literally every person that I tell, they're like, what? Okay, so the thing that I don't do, I don't wear petite clothing. <laughs> I know, it's weird. I'm five foot one. Why am I not wearing petite clothing? You know why? Because it doesn't fit. I'm not comfortable in it. There is something about, okay, so for me, I'll just show you, okay? I have a broader shoulder. So for me, and I have broader shoulders, right? They go like they all the way over my hip, right? When I buy petite clothing, the shirts are up here. They're like halfway. The sleeve is literally like this on my shoulder. It looks like I don't fit in my clothing. It's not about whether I'm short or tall or fat or skinny or any of those things. It's just that the shirt is sitting up here and it doesn't look like it fits. And the worst part of all of it is it's so, they make the seams so tight underneath the armpit that like the chest area and the arms, it's all so tight. I literally hate wearing petite clothing. It's so uncomfortable to wear that. Now, if you are really petite as far as your framing and you have narrow shoulders, petite clothing is probably gonna work for you. Just like in the hip area. I have hips, I have hips. I shouldn't have to feel ashamed of that. I shouldn't have to feel like I don't want people to know that I have curves. This is, this is it is obscene. It is insane that we feel like we have to talk quietly about the things that make us who we are. So when I try to put petite pants or trousers on, they're so narrow through the hips, they don't fit me. They don't fit me. And the, the biggest struggle for petite girls and for tall girls too, I know at all spectrums, first of all, you're, even if you are an average height, you're gonna still have problems with pants showing up and not fitting in the hips, right? Everybody has this problem. Maybe they're too big, maybe they're too small. Maybe they're like, your proportions just aren't right. You have more of a tummy and other people might be wider. Like it just, sometimes just stuff just doesn't work. Well, for me, what I try to do is I try to look for a pair of pants that's gonna fit me in the waist, and it's gonna fit me in the hips. And the pants that I keep are the ones that don't have the, the bend in the knee in the wrong place. That is the biggest struggle for those of us who are a petite or tall, is that the knees a lot of times don't hit in the right place. And it, it can just drive you crazy because it doesn't look quite right, which is why once the straight cut fit, why skinny, skinny jeans have been really good for those of us who are petite or tall because they're fitted all the way down the leg, right? Then straight cut can be really flattering for those of us who are a little bit shorter because we're not having to worry about where the knee hits. That's like a pet peeve of mine. It just irritates me. Like when you have fabric gathering behind your knee or my sister deals with it too. She's petite, but she's still, she's taller than me. She's five foot three. She still deals with the same thing because some, the, the pants don't fit her quite right and there's like bagging behind the knees or for me, they just sort of sag below the knee. The knee, I feel like for me, in order to feel comfortable in a pair of pants, needs to hit at my knee. So a lot of times I actually wear my pants a lot more high-waisted than they're supposed to be and I kind of can get away with it. Uh, but some people just can't. And so you have to look around. You have to try out a lot of things. The hardest thing in the world for me to find is a great pair of pants. I think it's a real challenge to find a pair that fits really well, but the straight cut pleated trouser is really easy to wear because there's no bend at the knee. And so I think that's why for me, it's a style. That's why I'm like wide leg, straight. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it because I'd rather the knee hit in the right place. <laughs> And for it to actually fit in my waist and in my hips and not be uncomfortable than to be whatever, whatever the trend is. And I'm sure occasionally I'm gonna wear something because I think it makes me look taller and be like, oh, look at those long legs, girlfriend. <laughs> but overall, I think that we need to own who we are and literally just embrace this side of, of ourselves and stop trying to be something that we're not. If if I don't spend time worrying about trying to look taller, I'm just gonna worry about wearing things that I look, first of all, that feel good, and that I think look good. That's what I'm aiming for. Things that make me feel comfortable, things that make me feel confident, right? It's all those layers that we add on to ourselves, and I think that's what really matters. So I'm gonna get off my bandwagon. 
and I'm gonna drink my coffee. My little espresso. <laughs> my mom's gonna come over and she's gonna want this cup. Ah, uh, I know, I bought an extra set just so when mom and dad come over, we can have espresso together. Uh, but I, I hope you've enjoyed today's video of more than anything, clearly. I hope that you figured out that I'm not trying to look tall. <laughs> Was that clear enough? I think I said it like 900 times. You know, it, I really recently just had a, like, not an, an actual meltdown, but like, I really just broke down and cried because I was like, you know, it's so frustrating when you order clothes and they never fit. And it's annoying to have to take them to the tailor. It's just an extra step and it just gets a little bit old after time. And I see all these people on Instagram and you know, in real life as well. And they're so tall and oh, and then tall people are like, oh, I wish I was petite. And you're like, we always want what we don't have. So let's not worry about it. Let's just embrace who we are, embrace the beautiful people that we are, then our uniqueness, our, our uniqueness, the color of our hair, the color of our skin, our size, our shape. Let's just embrace that. And I think that we'll just enjoy getting dressed a whole lot more. So, all right. I'm gonna let you guys go. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comment section because I am really putting myself out here and I hope that it's had a good return in, in your life. So thank you. Make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one.